to tell you something. I, I, I love and respect that you are so private about your personal life with your man and all that. I think that is the only way that you can, to me, in this industry, to say sacred and to, and to, and to make sure that it is your relationship, relationship <laughs> and not the world's relationship. So I have something to tell you. Um, remember we, there was that basketball game we went to? We didn't go together, yes. but we actually ended up sitting right next to each other. I have a little secret for you. After that basketball game, I left a little early, and you and Jay were still there. I left early, and you're like, why are you leaving early? And I'm like, I just got to go somewhere. So here's my secret. Aww. And that's my that secret. So and it was, nice. had something to do with you with that day. It had to do with secrets and relationships and who I met that night and whatever. Oh, but great. it was the night of the basketball game. Wow. Yeah. Which brings me to single ladies, because people, <laughs> I mean, I'm single, she ain't. But anyway, um, I'm not married, but I, you know, I got it. I mean, but okay, but anyway, um, what I love is that you're married now, and you did that song, Single Ladies, and Pointing to the Ring. To me, how I took it as is you're, you are living this beautiful dream, you have this beautiful man, you're happy, but enough about that. But the thing is, I think that you're like pointing to it, to the world, saying, and you go get yours, girl. Absolutely. Like, kind of telling the world, I'm happy, and Every woman deserves, Every to, woman be deserves to be happy and not waiting around for men. Is that what it was? That's what I took it at. Perfect. You got it. That's what it is. <laughs> um, I heard that you were like really involved with the Obama and Election Day and getting people out to vote in a very personal, like hands on kind of way. I, I don't know. I mean, no, it was. Really involved, it was. But, yes, you were. But, um, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was in, out of the country and. I realized this was such an important day of, of my life and of the, my country's life and mm -hmm. I mean of our history and for me to not be there was ridiculous so I canceled some of my promo and I said I have to make it up and I, I came back to America and I went with uh, with Jay. We went around and, and they did rallies and we, we met all of the people that were standing in line for hours and hours and told them thank you for waiting and um, How basically... How amazing is that? I think that's amazing. You're downplaying it but that's amazing. Thank you. My, my father, um, my father was one of the first African American students in his school, he and says. he had to be escorted to school. My, my grandmother marched with Martin Luther King, wow. and and for me to be a young woman, a young African American woman that could do even if it's just that little thing, mm -hmm. I said, I, I have to. This is this is important to me. So mm -hmm. I'm so so proud of of the progress that our country is making, and it's going to keep progressing. It is. It's called Cadillac Records and Records and she plays the legendary Etta James. Check her out. Here she is. Glad you can make it. Uh, I can get you a drink. Uh... What you want me to just do it right here? Right now? <laughs> well, I am leaving town tomorrow. Yeah, baby, you don't have to be shy with me. I ain't you shy, fool. Don't be looking at me like I ain't wearing no drawers. It's just hard to do if he ain't in the mood. And I ain't in the mood. Girl, I have never seen you like that. That was no joke. Like, you're so sweet and clean and, like, virginal. <laughs> you, you know, that's her, her, what she gives off. Like, you know, positivity. And she's like, you want some? What's up? You want some now? <laughs> like, how did you get to those, that place? You know, it was difficult. I, I have an amazing acting coach. Ivana Chubbuck. Yes. I studied with this woman. She's amazing. She really, really is. She is. And I worked hard. I put in the work, and, and I tried, you know, to connect with the character and I went and did research with um, women that were addicted to heroin that are making um, d are recovering right now. Did you see them kicking it? Did you see like um, how? I didn't see it in person but I watched a lot of movies, a lot of yeah. documentaries and um, it, it's amazing because I, I'm, I'm always really happy and I'm, I, I believe that happiness is a choice and I yeah. usually choose the positive in every situation. So for me to walk around in that funk and to be that that angry and yeah. that have that much pain for, for those couple of weeks. Basically, I had to think about the most painful things in my life, things that I don't really normally 
think about focus on and it was difficult yeah but I had to do it to go to that place and it's the the best movie everyone y'all have to go out and support this movie it's a part of our history and it's a story that has to be told and, and I'm happy to be a part the of it. The soundtrack comes on um, the soundtrack comes out December 2nd so you guys got to get the soundtrack too well I see you being doing this for as long as you want to Thank do it you. and I know that you talk about um, wanting to be an icon yes. that that's what you want and I have to tell you Miss Beyonce Knowles I think you already are an icon Thank you.